Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to explain MS SQL Server architecture in interview. So when we go for in the interview, uh, the first question you will get is tell me about yourself and the second inter question is uh, go through the SQL Server architecture. If you see here and I will show, I mean I will, I will, I am going to teach how we need to simplify and how we can easily remember the SQL Server architecture. So mainly SQL Server is a client server architecture and mainly divided into two parts one is relation engine and storage engine mm -hmm. so first the request comes from the through sql server network interface in the form of tds tds stands for tabular data stream okay the sql server network of the sql server unwrap the tds packets and pass the uh, sql commands to the command processor the command processor will check the syntax errors and pass the query to the optimizer the optimizer will prepare the plans and pick the list cost plan and forward that plan to the query executor. Okay, the query executor execute the query by calling the access methods, either it is select query or update statement. If it is a select statement, query directly accesses the buffer pool for the cache if the data is not available in the buffer cache and it will uh, then it pick from the data file. Fetching the data from the data file is called hardening. If the if it is not a select query, then the transaction manager will handle that query and the transaction manager comes into picture. Here, a tra transaction uh, manager is having two components internally. One is log manager and is lock manager. The log manager will assign a sequential number called LSN for every transaction. The lock manager will place a lock on every transaction until the transactions get complete. Okay, the buffer uh, manager uh, has a pool. Uh, the uh, has a had the buffer manager had buffer pool. The buffer pool is having two internal components. One is plan cache and data cache. The plans which are executed recently are showed in the plan cache and it uses LRU algorithm least recent used to delete the plans which are not being used for a very long time. Data cache is the place where modifications done to the data. The modified pages we call it as a dirty pages. Once the, mod, uh, the pages are modified and not yet written to disk, then that pages we call it as a dirty pages. The data cache is cleared where on, where on, when on PLE and memory pressure, when the transaction gets completed, the checkpoint flush the dirty pages to the data file. So here, see every step I have explained uh, each and everything and uh, main I have uh, used all the terminology which is used in this uh, internally. So this I hope uh, this will help you to explain the SQL Server architecture. Okay, and I'm going to paste this message in the in description and also this paste this in um, uh, word file in the google drive i hope you may like this our initiation and i am expecting a feedback from you thank you